<laughs> All right, so we're back talking sports. Mark Packer is here from SiriusXM. So awesome to have you on. Let's talk football. You really want to talk football I'm, after, I'm, after what happened to your Georgia I, Bulldogs I was, last look, week? I was trying not to bring that up right away. And he didn't even show up last week. And then Georgia <laughs> didn't even show up. I mean, I rolled in here last Friday. You were nowhere to be found. I was gone. Yeah, I was off that day. I want a word about you. Then I think that was the reason why they lost. Can, that, do we have the video, by the way, of that poor guy <laughs> in Kansas City getting uh, run over by the tarp? What guy? That? Uh, I think do, so. Do we have that? I'll I'm tell hearing... you, because I, I thought when we when I saw that this morning, because yes. I watched you guys, this dude right here, that was Georgia last week against Alabama. <laughs> That's him. So that, those are the he's Georgia, Georgia Alabama and that's Alabama coming right behind him. What happened? I mean, I my know. goodness, Alabama just came worry, out with a vengeance. You better worry about Tennessee. Well, listen, I thought that would be our trap game this season because they always play us tough in Knoxville. What is your take on on Georgia getting out there and, and getting the W? You're nervous now. I am nervous. You, know you ought to be nervous. You ought to be nervous. You think so? I, I listen. Mark, this is an important game for Mark Rick. Yeah. He needs to win this game. Of course, Tennessee does too. You know, there's six teams in America that have led every game by 13 or more points. Five of those teams are undefeated. The other one's Tennessee. They're two and three. Ooh. Now think about that a second. They're two and three. They've led every game by 13 or more points. They just can't close it. They can't close. Your guys last week were absolutely brutal. Got to be honest with you, they were brutal. But I think Georgia bounces back in a close one. They've won the last five in the series. Let's talk about this LSU-South Carolina game that was supposed to be in Columbia. Right. Obviously moved now to Baton Rouge. Um, LSU is, is really good. I know there's going to be a lot of emotions in this game, but... I don't know. LSU might be too good for South Carolina. They here. are. Uh, but too strong. I, I will say this. The, the folks at LSU have really have been classy in this whole deal. And we know about all the travesty down in Columbia with the rings, yeah. the loss of property lives and everything else. You know, LSU can relate to that in a sense after what they went through with Katrina. They have rolled out the red carpet here. They're going to play their fight song. They're flying up with their own jets. They've got billboards in Baton Rouge, Go Gamecocks, and all this stuff. They're going to fatten them up with some jambalaya and all sure. that stuff. But they've got to stop that guy who we just saw running the ball to the house there. Our number seven, Leonard Fournette, yeah. is as good as they come. That dude right there is a grown man right there. It's a Sunday player playing <laughs> Saturday. Yeah. South Carolina's got their hands full, but a touch of class by LSU this Yeah, week. absolutely. I know a lot of eyes will be on that game. All right, so let's talk uh, Georgia Tech at Clemson. Georgia Tech has just... Sucked an egg here these last few games. Can they I have, use it? Can you yeah. use, can you say that on I television? Just did. I did. I mean, you could say that on Sirius XM Radio. I didn't know you could say that here in WBTV. <laughs> but Bounce. here, there was high hopes for Georgia Tech at one point, but they've uh, lost these last couple games, and now here they got to take on Clemson. Uh, let me tell you what, though, this series has always been tough since mm -hmm. Georgia Tech joined the ACC back in 1983. They've played 33 times. Georgia Tech leads 17-16. They have ruined many a Clemson party when the Tigers have been Ooh. ranked in the top ten. Beware of the hangover, Clemson. You know, last week, the big one against Notre Dame. Yeah. People still buzzing about it. I'm just telling you, this scheme, Georgia Tech's desperate. They've lost three in a row. The Tar Heels are the greatest comeback in Tar Heel history last week. This is a dangerous game for Clemson. They have to be very, very careful. Because they're game. feeling good about that Notre Dame win, but oh. we'll, and they got them at home, so Life we'll see. Life is good. All right, so let's talk about uh, Alabama playing at home against Arkansas. Uh, Alabama's got to be feeling good with the, the win over Georgia, of course, back in the top ten. Uh, what do they need to do against Arkansas? Just play like they Just did last week. Like if if last Alabama week. plays like they did last week, they are one of the two or three best teams in the country. They were spectacular. I don't need to tell you that. Arkansas feels better. They won last week at Tennessee. Yeah. I still think Alabama, if they're dialed in, ready to go, they're too much for the Hawks. Got a rivalry game in the ACC, Miami versus Florida State. That ought to be fun to watch. 21, excuse me, 27 of the last 31 times they've played, at least one of them has been unbeaten going into the game. A really almost a must win, I think, for Miami. Al Golden's under a lot of pressure. They lost last Thursday night on the road to Cincinnati. And for Florida State, Dalvin Cook, their outstanding running back. He's the guy yeah. that's been day-to-day. -day. He looked like he practiced this week. So, again, it's always fun, Canes and Knowles. All right. So uh, I'm hearing that the, this kid and the tarp are going to be playing again uh, this weekend. So who's your money on? Well, listen, in baseball right now, the visiting teams have won all four games in the playoffs. So, I mean, the Kansas City Royals, I mean, you've got to come stronger than that. That's brutal right there. Ouch. That hurts. Look at him. That hurts. He's like, doggone it. Oh, all right. He's all over TV now. And that's it. Thank you, Mark. Thank Always you, good ladies. to have you. Appreciate that food this morning. That was outstanding. You're welcome. We'll be back after this break.